Is there something that you've been wanting to do that you've been putting off because it, you don't quite know where to get started? Well, it first starts with your vision or your dream. And after that, it requires getting messy, whether it's redecorating an old bedroom and turning it into the room of your dreams or creating a little garden spot with a bistro table, cleaning out your entire garage or your kitchen or even a small little closet. Um, it all first requires getting messy before you can put it back together. This morning, I got messy. I pulled everything out of the closet and I'm gonna put it back together the way that I want. Um, but I would say the most important thing about the idea of being messy, we all know what it means to, to step out of our comfort zone, right? But that's kind of a, I think it has a negative connotation because nobody wants to be uncomfortable. But the idea of getting messy has to do with play. If you think about when you were a little kid, you loved, I, I would guarantee that your favorite play had to do with being messy and dirty and just getting, getting into the dirt or, or whatever you were doing. So I'm not talking about being messy, I'm talking about getting messy and getting really, really messy. Meaning that anything that we do first has to be cleaned out. We have to get in there, pull it all out, especially things like a garage or a closet, it can start with like one drawer. It can start with a small space and then go from there. So the key to making a mess is um, there, there's something that factors into it and that is time. Time is a factor. We need to set time aside for getting messy. It's a, it's a formula. Dream or vision plus messy plus time equals getting unstuck and moving into your dreams. So I'm not just talking about physical messes. I'm talking about emotional messes mental messes, um, spiritual messes. Things have to get messy before they get better. Taking up new exercise or, or getting out and exercising, it's messy, it's sweaty, it's, it's, not, it's not pretty. Whether it's deciding to finally sit down and write the thing that you're wanting to write, it's gonna be a sucky first draft. That is just messy. That's, there is no way around the messes. If you're wanting to work on a relationship and really get into the weeds and talk about the things that really matter to you, that is, that's messy. It just, there's just no way around it. This was a small project today. It took less than an hour. It's something that I've been wanting to do. Everything had to come out. I had to sort through, take some stuff out put it all back in, and it's just so rewarding. It was worth it to get messy. What I'm proposing is the idea of getting messy as the great adventure. Being open to discovering things that you didn't know existed, troubleshooting. A lot of times we start getting messy and then we have to start to troubleshoot. In doing so, we discover new solutions. We also find what we like and what we don't like and even what we love. And so much of discovering who we are and the great adventure of making, making messes is finding out what we do love. One of the biggest messes that Tommy and I have made was a side yard project. Nothing would grow there. I'm gonna show some pictures here of the mess that we made. The first thing that we wanted to do is take out the sidewalk. I had this idea of putting in a shade garden. It's a very shady space. And I thought that's maybe why nothing would grow there. Once we had the concrete pulled up, we had big chunks of, they looked like stone 
and got this idea of building a, a little wall that to kind of terrace it in. But the biggest mess that we got into was when we started to dig up the earth and we found that we had about three feet of adobe hard clay that had to be softened up with water and then we had to dredge it out. It had to have been done because that is why nothing would grow there. It took several months and we were able to do it. That, that garden is absolutely such a, an enjoyable place for us because of how much we put into it. And even the fun that we had, we had mud throwing contests. We, we did a mud bath one time just, just to be silly, but we turned something that could have been very difficult into something that was the great adventure. The troubleshooting, the biggest part of getting messy with the concrete sidewalk is that it was so heavy, we didn't know how we were gonna dispose of it. We were able to come up with the idea of building a little wall. So that was just part of creating order out of the mess. And, but first it had to, to get that way. Whatever your dreams are, whatever that if only is, I want you to think about the fact that that is something that is so deep inside of you that really learning to, to set time aside, get messy, is really the key to being the steward of your dreams and of your vision. And I highly encourage you to do that today. We talked about a lot of different topics. I would love to hear from you about what you would want me to do more videos on. I would love your feedback. But as always, it was just rewarding and a pleasure chatting with you today and sharing a little bit more of our lives and we hope to see you next time.